Hello, this is going to be a quick video review of my new self mod Kel, and I have some explaining to do quick. I got rid of, this was originally going to be Cyborg Nuvok V3, but I decided I didn't like using that Bow Rock Bow head, and I wanted a humanoid head, so I switched it, and then I had to change character and stuff, because Nuvok had his name because of his head. So, yeah. Uh, we're going to be starting here with the legs. Uh, they're mainly made of these Bow Rock skulls, and if you see this, you may wonder how this is attached. It just moves around like that. Uh, it's, it won't flop around even when you shake them around or whatever, that wasn't a good example. Uh, but if you move it, it will move, so. Standard articulation for everything. Knees bend just fine, both legs. This one has a hero, well, this one has a Hero Factory Series 1 foot. I don't think it looks weird at all. Uh, bends there. Yeah. Uh, upper legs are just a nice little upper limb pieces. I need to move. So, there we go. Uh, arms, these are pretty cool. They're all custom. Uh, this one, oh my, uh, yeah. Uh, strange thing. This guy actually uses Nuva shoulders and Metro shoulders. That's real shoulders. Oh my gosh, people rarely do that. Uh, more with Nuva shoulders. Uh, people don't use them. These are used more often, but still not very much. Lower arms are nice. Uh, hand, fingers. That's there, and you just move that around for when you want to attach a sword, which I may or may not showcase. I don't know. Torso is, uh, me, maybe you can tell, and inspired by Sardix Films self-mock Sardix. I was really inspired by it because it uses this short-shouldered Hero Factory body. I'm not sure. Oh, boy. That just fell. Uh, yeah, there's that. That's pretty cool. So, mm hmm And let's keep going. Sorry, I can't, the camera's not high at, up enough. This uses a which is not very rarely used, or is very rarely used. The Onua 2016 mask, uh, if, you're, if you've seen my channel before this review, uh, I had the 2015 mask, but I like this one better because it had the extra silver. Mm -hmm. uh, head is just the base 2015 head with the little washer in the back to hold that in place so it doesn't move. You can't even move it. And if you really try it, I'm guessing it'd just pop out, but you'd have to really try this just covers around the neck. It just covers around the neck. This is really low quality and stuff. Uh, that just attached like that. It just folds up. Uh, this is for. Uh, I'm gonna give him a little blade, like a hidden blade. It'll flip around. No. Oh, wrong thing. Ah, more notch. There you go. And yeah, it's gonna be a little hidden blade thing. For now, I don't have anything there. Attach the mask quick. And then I'm going to give him his blade, or one of his little blade things, not a sword, but it's this little arm blade. Plug it into this little Technic bobber thing right there. This is an axle connection. And it looks like that. It's pretty cool with the arm blade. Boom. Uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. Then he has another arm accessory. Which is his shotgun. It attaches the same way. Put that into the arm. It's got a little over the arm shotgun. That's pretty cool. Shoot on some bad McDooters. <laughs> I just said McDooters. Bad, bad McDooters. I don't know why I said that. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, there's that. I guess I have time to showcase the sword. Because I want to make this recording really quick. So all you gotta do is take this and flip it around and like that, sticking the axle sticking out, uh, and then they use this blade. And you have four trans red bar guys because uh, that's what happens when you get a Matau Hordika and a Levok, uh, and then you decide to use their parts for yourself mock <laughs> or just a mock. Oh, his finger just fell off my nose. Uh, oh no. Uh, I'm making strange noises. So there's this little blade thing. It's like supposed to be an ancient artifact type thing. Uh, there's that. Put it over his shoulder. The camera's not high en up enough. He measures in about 10.5, 11 inches. So, that's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much going to be it for a review of myself, not Kel. So we can stand him up and then get my camera there. The right. Let's put this over his shoulder because it's bent his arm backwards. That's not fun. Okay, 
here. Okay, this is going to be a conclusion of the review of my Sophant Kel. Mm, bye bye.